Ants are one of the most amazing creatures that just about everybody knows of. But there are some things you probably don't know about them unless you're a myrmecologist, which is someone who specializes in the study of ants, or an ant enthusiast. First off, many of us know that they have superhuman strength, but did you know that in general they can lift from 10 to 50 times their own weight for long distances depending on the species? The Asian weaver ant can carry up to 100 times its own body weight and luggage. You might be thinking, that's cool and all, but what makes them so strong? Why do they have the strength and ability to lift objects much heavier than them? It's not known for sure, but it's highly believed to be their size. A study at the Arizona State University said that since their body is of such small proportion, that the cross-sectional area of their body, which is made of muscle, is greater than that of larger animals. Therefore, they have much greater force of strength. That puts a question in my mind. If they would be bigger, would they be weaker in body size, weight comparison? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. A lot of people consider ants as pests, which in some cases they are, especially if they are unwanted visitors in your house. But as for many pests, such as rodents and other creatures, the ants don't have any ears. So does that mean they can't hear? The answer is no, they hear the, through the vibration from around them. If there was no vibration from sound, we wouldn't be able to hear, because the tremor in, the, in your eardrum wouldn't be able to happen because it rattles the three smaller bones in your body and sends it to your brain to be able to hear it. Ants use it when they are searching for food by vibration through the ground. They have an area called the subgenual organ, which is located under their knees. I think that would be pretty cool if you ask me. If you don't know, insects and many other invertebrates don't have lungs, and that's including the ant. They have a different respiratory system than ours because of their size and the simplicity of their bodies, or more simple than ours in design. Where do they breathe? Through their skin, or at least holes in each side of their carapace. The holes are also known as spiracles. The spiracles are connected throughout the body by tubes, and it helps just about every cell they have to be oxygenated. As they move, it helps the oxygen to move throughout their body and rid the tubes of carbon dioxide. Did you know that ants have two stomachs? Similar to the honeybee, it uses one of its stomachs for its own consumption of food, and the other it uses to feed those that have to stay in the colony that are on the queen's duties. Ants are farmers. That's right, they grow food in their colonies to help sustain themselves and feed the colony, especially if there is a scarcity of food around. Not only do many of the ants have gr a green thumb, but they also take care of other insects, like we would cattle, horses, chickens, etc. And they are the only other known animal to do such a thing. They have been known to house and protect many other insects. But the main creature they have been known to care for are aphids. They protect them from predators and rain to be able to receive the aphid secretion of honeydew. When you think of the words a lot, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? It's probably not ants. In comparison with people in the world, there is an estimated one million ants per person on the planet. If that doesn't put things in perspective, I don't know what does. The largest ant colony ever found was a type of invasive species in Europe. It consisted of over six thousand kilometers of ants. That's over 3,750 miles in width. They were posing major threats to plants, animals, and wildlife in general. The colonies merged to create a supernova of ants. Did you know that there's over 12,000 different known species of ants and more are being found? 
As of March 3rd in 2010, there was 12,565 species on record, and there is predicted to be 22,000 species in our present day. But who knows? There could be a heck of a lot more. What are, what are your thoughts? Leave them in down in the comments below. Ants are the longest living of all insects, at least that we know of. The longest living ant on record was a queen in her natural habitat that lived for 30 years in the state of Idaho and the USA. Those are 10 facts about the miraculous world of ants. If you want to be Ant-Man right now, cool, but I can't help you there. I hope it was eye-opening, and if you, liked the, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. There will be more videos coming out. I wish the best for you all. May nature always be on your side, and have a great day.